Hey guys, Simon Bryson here, and today we're gonna break down exactly how to grow a portfolio from a hundred dollars all the way up to a thousand dollars very simply without risking a ton of your money and on top of that without going out there and actually doing day trading okay now the idea is i'm gonna try to answer all the questions i had when i first started investing for example what to invest into what app to use and on top of that also exactly how much money to invest every single month so i'm gonna break everything down in this video right here and by the way when I first started investing and taking it seriously, it was back in 2018, December. I remember exactly. And I started with around $7.80 or 60 cents. And today I have around $60,000 invested. But the point is, I started with $7. So if you have a hundred bucks today or $10, or $3 or $5, the point is it doesn't matter. You can grow a portfolio over time simply by investing consistently over time. So I'm gonna break everything down in this video right here. And by the way, guys, I also upload this channel every single day. So make sure to also search down and hit the bell so you're notified of the video. On top of that, also destroy the like button. It helps a ton, so thank you guys so much for your support. Now, the first thing is this, guys. When it comes to exactly what platform to use, like, okay, do I use Robinhood? Do I use Acorns? Do I use the SaaS shop, M1 Finance? What exactly do I use? E-Trade, Fidelity, Schwab's? The answer is, do not overthink it, okay? Do not overthink it. I want you to spend less than three seconds picking a platform and then just focus on investing because in reality, it doesn't matter. All these apps are basically called brokerages. And in reality, they're just a middleman between you and investing. And that's the whole point, okay? So what you're looking forward to is investing with a platform that's reliable, good reputation, and on top of that, it's not gonna charge you a ton of fees. So I have a bunch of reviews on my channel where I actually call the companies and find out exactly how they work. For example, M1 Finance, Acorn, Stash App, Robinhood, every single app, I have a review on it on my channel right here. But I recommend three apps when it comes to investing, and I'm gonna tell you guys a brief idea of those apps right here. That way you can have a better idea of those apps, okay? But the idea is at the end, at the end, just pick an app, use it, and focus on investing consistently, okay? Now, the three apps I recommend are basically Acorns for passive investing, SoFi for fractional shares, investing with $10 or $5, and also Robinhood for trading for free and also fractional shares. But overall, guys, all three of these apps are so good and so solid that in reality, it's just really the interface and how you like to use the apps, but they all kind of have the same features, except Acorns that's basically for passive investors that want to grow their money without really thinking about it whatsoever. And that's what I currently use to invest a ton of money. And I started that one there with $7, and today that has around $27,000 in Acorns. So Acorns by far is one of my favorites. Now I'm gonna link down below also all the links to all these apps right here, and I'm also going to link referral links. That way with Acorns you get five bucks, with SoFi Money you get around $75, and also with Robinhood you also get a free stock. But the idea is I'm also gonna link down below all the reviews I did, and that way you know exactly how they work, how to operate them, what I think about them, but again, if I were you, what I would do is don't waste any time, sign up for all of them, and try them out and see exactly which one you actually like best, okay? So I have all the apps out there, and basically, these are my three favorite ones. Robinhood, SoFi Money, and also Acorns. My three favorite ones by far. So sign up for all three, try them out, and don't spend any time thinking about it. More than three seconds is way too much time. Again, it's just a platform to invest money into. The real goal is to actually invest your money. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is basically, Tommy, how much money do I actually invest every single month, okay? And what is the rule? The idea is, okay, if all you have is a hundred bucks, in reality, the fastest way to grow your money is going to be by investing diligently every single time you actually get paid. So at one point, I was making around 60 bucks a week, believe it or not, and every time I got paid, I made a rule to take around 10% of my income and put that aside for investing. So every time I got paid on Fridays, I took $6 and I put it aside for investing. Now you might think, Tommy, why would you do that, okay? That is such a waste of time. The answer is no. Money adds up, it compounds, and on top of that, you also build the habit, and the habit is the most important thing. And again, remember today, okay? Today I make a lot more money, I also have a lot more than $3 invested, and the idea is over time, the better your habits, the better your performance, you will actually go ahead and actually improve your life overall when it comes to making money, saving money, 
and budgeting money. In the end, if you cannot manage a small sum of money, you will not be able to manage a large amount of money. So the rule is this, every single time you get paid, I want you to take 10% of your income and go ahead and invest it. I do not care how much money you make, either you make a lot of money or a little bit of money. The answer is the rule is 10%. If you want to invest more, by all means, go ahead. But the rule is a minimum of 10% has to be invested every single time you actually get paid. Now, just for an example, guys, okay? Say you actually make around $30,000 every single year and you actually invested 10% of that. In reality, that's around $3,000 a year. And guess what? Just like that, you have a portfolio size of around more and more and more than $1,000 right off the bat, okay? Very simply. Now, if you invested... $3,000 every single year for 40 years at a 7% interest rate, very modest by the way, okay? At the end of those 40 years, you will have around $642,000 and that will make you an income every single year at a 3% dividend around, guess how much? $19,200. And that is all just with 10% of your income. Imagine doing 20% or doing 30% or 40% or 50%. The answer is the more you invest, the more you'll get. But the whole goal here is consistency and never stop. And so the fastest way to grow a portfolio is basically by using 10% to invest in your portfolio every single time you get paid. Now, the third thing I want to talk about is basically tell me what exactly do I invest into, okay? Do I do index funds? Do I do ETFs? Or do I buy specific stocks, okay? The idea is, okay, it depends on what type of investor you actually want to be. Now, what I currently do is I do both, okay? I do index funds and I also do stock picking. Tell me why? The answer is, well, I do stock picking for, you know, building more wealth. Like, hey, I want to invest into this company. Over time, it'll grow and grow and grow. But I also do ETFs for low risk investments that are going to guarantee me income in the future and I go into my safety net and also kind of like my retirement fund in a sense. Okay. That's the idea. So if you want to be a passive investor, okay, you don't want to learn, hey, how do I calculate a company's balance sheet? Is cash flow statements, is income statement? How do I learn about everything about this company? The answer is if you don't want to do all that work, like Warren Buffett, the best way to do it is by investing into index funds and having a well-balanced portfolio. So the way I do this currently is by investing with Acorns into a moderately aggressive portfolio. And that way, basically, I can invest money every single time I get paid, put it in there, and over time, the money grows, but I don't have to look at it every single day, every single week, every single month. The idea is, no, I know for a fact this money is going to grow over time. Now, the investments I make with Acorns are basically 80% stock ETFs and also 20% into bonds. The bonds are corporate and also treasury bonds. The stock ETFs are, for example, real estate stocks, stocks in America, stocks outside of America. The idea is, is such a well-balanced portfolio. And I'm also going to link down below a full link, a full video of my entire stock portfolio. And that we know exactly what I invest to and why. However, if you want to learn how to invest passively into index fund, I highly recommend this book called The Little Book About Common Sense Investing by John C. Bogle. And if you want to learn how to invest into stocks and pick specific stocks here and there, I recommend you read a book called The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. Now, these two books right here are like 15 bucks each, 30 bucks. And if you just have 100 bucks, that is a lot of money, right? So the idea is if you want these two books right here for free, I have a link down below to Audible. And when you sign up, you get two free books. And even if you cancel, guys, okay, you can still keep those two free books. And I recommend highly you read them. And that way you'll learn exactly more about investing. Remember, passive investors read the little book about comments and investing by Justin Bogle and people that want to learn about stocks and investing balance sheets, read the intelligent investor by Benjamin Graham. Okay. Those two books right there shape the person I am today. And that's why I'll know as much as I know about investing. By the way, when you're trying to basically go out there and learn about stock picking, it's going to take a lot more than books. You're going to have to need accounting skills and also finance skills. And that way you know exactly how to evaluate companies and know exactly what price to actually buy at. But for example, if all you want to be is a passive investor and you invest into the S&P 500 by Vanguard, the index fund also, you can expect to get around a 7% gain every single year. And if your money grows at that rate, your money will grow and it will compound. And trust me, that is pretty solid. And over time, your money will continue to grow and continue to grow. Just remember, invest 10% in your portfolio. And again, 
Passive, I recommend Acorns, okay? Acorns is a great app for passive investors. Now, number four, guys, is basically tell me how exactly do I track the potential of my investment and how do I know exactly how much money I'm going to have in the future? And when I first started investing, I wanted to know exactly, well, if I invested this much money right here, how long will it take me to make this much money, a million, two million, $100,000, like how long exactly would it actually take me? And the best way to figure that out is by using a compound interest calculator. You can find it on Google online. Any one of them works the same, okay? So again, compound interest calculator. The one I use the most is called Money Chimp, and there's on Google also, and it's also free. Don't pay for any of this stuff, okay? It's like, you don't need to do it whatsoever, okay? Now, the best thing is this, guys, okay? Say, for example, you wanted to be a passive investor and you invested into the S&P 500 by Vanguard and this paid you around 7% every single year in gains, right? It grew by 7% every single year. Now, if you invest around $500 every single month consistently for around 40 years, you will have around $1.2 million. In 10 years, you will have around $88,000, but the idea is over time, compound interest keeps working, and working and working and working and working and your money will keep growing and growing and growing okay so the idea is if you're starting out with a hundred bucks today by the end of the year i guarantee it if you use 10 percent of your income you will have more than a thousand dollars right off the bat okay because basically if you make twenty thousand dollars a year well that's two thousand dollars you make ten thousand dollars a year it's a thousand dollars right there i'm pretty sure you probably make a lot more than 10K a year. And you probably make a lot more than I did when I was making around 60 bucks a week, okay? And if you don't have any money whatsoever right now, focus on growing your income right now. Do not focus on putting your money into a stock market, okay? Focus on growing your income and making more income, okay? Very hard to make money in the stock market if you don't have any money whatsoever, unless you're doing like day trading, and I don't recommend that whatsoever. So guys, overall, the last thing is this, okay? From this video, you should already know exactly what app you're going to use, how much you're going to invest, and also what you're actually going to invest into, okay? Passive or active, you have to decide for yourself. But overall, those are the basic ideas to grow a portfolio from 100 bucks all the way to $1,000. And the key is consistently invest in over time. And by this year, 2020, you should already set your entire goal to actually surpass that goal by far, okay? But comment down below, guys, and let me know this one thing, okay? How much money are you going to invest every time you get paid? And also, how much money will you have by the end of the year in your investment portfolio? Comment down below and let me know exactly what your goal is. So for example, if you're making 500 bucks every single week, well, it's $500 times 0.10%. In reality, every week, you're going to invest 50 bucks times 52, at the end of the year, you should have around $2,600 invested. So comment down below and let me know exactly how much you'll have invested, okay? Are you gonna do 10%, 20%, 30%? Comment down below, let me know. And as always, guys, if you like this video, well, destroy the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you're notified every time I post a video. On top of that, follow me on Instagram, Tiny Bryson. And before I go, if you wanna watch a full video on my portfolio, what I invest into and how, here's that video right here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace.